Hello, my name is Debbie Wright, and I'm the gallery director of Cultivate 712, and you're watching Local Scene. Now for me, it begins really early. Um, I get out of bed every morning and I have like a list of a thousand things that I have to do that day and I check my emails immediately um, for the hundreds of um, requests and responses that I probably need to send out or that I get every day. Um, with that, that comes along with artists submitting their artist applications. And that comes with people who are interested in event rentals as well as so many other things that people always reach out about. Um, once I get to work, usually I have to turn the lights on and really bring about the magic here in the space to really get it alive and flowing. Um, once I've done that, I usually try to sit at my desk and dedicate some time to my own artworks. So you can usually walk in and find me painting at the front desk. Um, I was just watercoloring this morning, um, but kind of just a way for me to kind of unwind and get people into the space and kind of seeing what we do. Um, usually I try to play a good playlist for the day. I always tell people I'm not only an art curator, I am a vibe curator. Um, so I try to make sure that I pick whatever is the vibe for the day um, to make sure that it goes well. And then I welcome in guests as they come in, um, showcase local artworks. Uh, and then usually a lot of cleaning is involved and I'm not afraid to scrub a toilet, I'll tell you that. Um, but usually it's just cleaning around the gallery, getting everything reset um, and making it look beautiful for another day. One of my most meaningful moments here at Cultivate was actually whenever we first announced that I was going to take over ownership here at Cultivate. And we did it at our September showcase last year with Charles Wallace. Um, and it was a beautiful moment because really we just had a crowd surrounded. Um, and almost every art opening, we do try to have some sort of artist talk um, for the artists kind of to just talk about their inspiration for the pieces. Um, and that night specifically, we had a really good crowd. Um, and when we announced it, like everybody was just so excited and had so many questions. Um, and it was beautiful to kind of get to see the community come together. And a lot of people didn't even know that I wasn't the owner yet. Um, so it was kind of funny to get to see be like, people like, oh, you've already been here for so long. There have been so many moments that I have just kind of fallen in love with our community. And I've got to see that synergy um, happening when we had our women's showcase, when we had our poetry showcase. Um, we just had our Latina Day conference this past weekend. Um, which has been beautiful to just to get to see these moments where people are raw, unfiltered themselves, and really just not only inspired um, by the works around them, but are inspiring others in their community, either through entrepreneurship, um, business, um, I mean, even just poetry and music, any moments like that is really just great to get to see where everybody comes together and kind of, you can feel it in the air. Um, and I think those are some of my favorite moments, even though I can't name one exactly specifically, but there are so many, so many I cherish. As you guys can see, I'm obviously very self-expressive and I love to show my unique personality on the outside and around me, specifically here in the gallery. Um, some of the things I do to relax or unwind is I actually love to paint myself. So as you can see, there's some beautiful artworks right behind me. Those are actually some examples of my works that I do. I usually do acrylic on canvas, but I have been working with some more 3D elements um, and been playing around with spackle and clay. Um, one of the ways I actually got started was by doing fun tie-dye shirts and polymer clay earrings and beaded bracelets um, and really just playing with those kind of things and um, just starting what I soon developed into a passion uh, and then through that gained my entrepreneurship uh, and started one of my first ventures which was Bone Kitten Boutique which was really fun and um, did vendor markets for like three years here in our community got to meet so many amazing artists um, and now kind of I just paint and um, get to relax. As I mentioned, you can usually see, find me in here painting or doing something creative. Um, anytime you come in, um, I do of course do graphic design um, and social media management. So if I'm not painting or doing something else artistic in a physical sense, I'm probably doing something digitally. Um, I do a lot of digital illustrations, sticker designs, um, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So really I just love creating. And then one of my hyper fixations recently has been scrapbooking. Um, so don't even get me started on that because I can go on a whole rampage about my scrapbooking addiction and that's my problem, not yours. 
Art is very important to me personally because it's one of the ways that I express myself. It's also one of the ways that we can show that we're safe and that we're in a good environment um, that helps foster that creativity. Um, one of the things I love so much about our world is that we can be uniquely ourselves and that we can express ourselves in a way that maybe we haven't seen before. Um, it's been great getting to have so many different artists coming into the galleries and kind of getting to show their own self-expression, either through their style where you see something surreal, abstract, um, even like traditional classically trained fine artists, they still have a voice and it's beautiful to get to see that each and every individual person has their own voice and it can be given to the community on a painting or even through a picture. Um, I really just think it's beautiful to get to kind of, you know, create a sense of unity and again, show that not only is this a safe space, but this is inclusive, it's diverse. Um, we are giving a voice to those who maybe, maybe have not had a voice before. Um, and that's really one of the things that I care about a lot is making sure that, you know, I'm creating a platform or I'm creating a space where people can be themselves and be uniquely themselves. And I wanna give back to that. Some of the best advice that I can give anybody who's wanting to start on their own artistic journey is not only just the Nike, just do it, but also just get involved, kind of show up. Um, one of the easiest ways that I always tell people is community, networking. Um, it really is not only what you know, but who you know, especially in a smaller community like ours. Um, Waco is very unique in that way, but I'm sure it translates into bigger cities like Austin and Dallas and even all over the world. Um, it's beautiful, again, just to see how many different people there are, and maybe you can find somebody who either was where you are now um, or is somewhere where you want to be. Um, and getting to see that and kind of how people can transition in their lives and knowing their story um, is one of the easiest ways that you can kind of see where you want to be or what you want to do. Um, I kind of just started throwing myself into the community and getting involved, attending networking groups, going to vendor markets, um, and really just befriending the people who I thought were cool um, because I wanted to be cool and I think it kind of rubbed off a little bit. Um, but also just doing it. There's a, obviously artists are their harshest critics um, and there are a lot of self-doubt that comes in with being an artist and even myself, I'm like, my art is not as good as everybody else's. One of the hardest things about being an artist is just being able to push through that self-doubt and really just put yourself out there on the page for others to see. It's not about anybody else, it's about your own journey and how you yourself can express that and express those emotions or feelings or anything you're going through. Um, not only that, but be able to, you know, art is subjective, be able to inspire others. Um, and even if you had a meaning behind something, maybe somebody else will get something else out of it. Um, so it's kind of beautiful to get to see that. And again, it's just because you were the one creating. And as long as you're doing it, that's the important part. Even if it's not your favorite, at least you did it. And it's beautiful to tell people like, hey, you may not be able to do exactly what you want to do now, but you can work towards that. And just getting there is, um, what is it? The journey is the best part of it. Um, the art is the friends we made along the way, that kind of situation. Um, but it is honestly just so great for you to be able to push through, do that. And again, just be a part of your community, get involved and just see how not only you can put yourself out there, um, but see what you can give back to as well. Hey everyone, I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you like the stuff that y'all saw and you want to keep up with Debbie and all of the projects that she's a part of, I'll make sure to leave some links down in the video description. Uh, I'm excited to continue this series and I have a few more planned coming out in the near future uh, and I'm really excited to share it with y'all. The local scene here in Waco has always meant so much to me and I'm glad that I'm able to put them out there just a little bit more. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned and follow along because there's going to be some awesome artists coming up soon. I hope you all have a great day and don't forget, like and subscribe.